The question is, what is the solution? Well, our solution as people of faith and as people on the right has been this so far. <sighs> Did you see Glee? Have you seen those violent video games? Yeah, I have, and I'm going to start with throw out the TV in our house. Really? Is that it? Is that going to solve anything? No. Why? Because nature abhors a vacuum. The trash is still there. It's why our culture is just disconnecting. We're ripping ourselves apart because there are two worlds. You go to any major city, if you live in the center of the country, and you go, you, you go to your own kid's school. It is a shift. It is because of the evil magic box. No, it's not. It's not technology. It's what we choose to do with it. It's what we choose to put into it and have spill out onto our phones and our iPads and our television sets. This is the area where I don't understand it. We have abandoned our entrepreneurial spirit. Instead of being like Edison and trying a thousand different ways to be part of the solution and sure we might fail, we instead throw up our hands in the air and wave the white flag and say, oh. and instead we become against something instead of being for something. Man, I have to tell you, this, this one is really frustrating to me because I'm a creative guy. Um, and I have to tell you something. This is going to sound awful for me to say. But I, I believe um, I am only living at about a third of my potential because of the time we live in. I, uh, I am a pariah because of my point of view. And if I had a different point of view, I'd be Walt Disney by now. But I don't. And I refuse to have another point of view. But I know I'm not alone. I know there are artists everywhere. I know there are people in the movies. We have somebody here, I can't say what show, but a major television show that is volunteering their time in Mercury One right outside this studio door. Major television show. She's volunteering all summer long while they're in a hiatus because she can't take it anymore. Can't take it anymore. There are people on all levels of the industry, in the arts and the, and the computer sciences and the television sciences and the movie sciences, artists that are thrust into a toxic atmosphere where if you're not willing to live on the cutting edge of culture and create filth, if you're not willing to play ball, shut up, sit down, you don't get a job, you'll never work again. Just ask the Victoria's Secrets model who talked to me she said, I don't want to appear 97% naked in men's magazines anymore. Now, here she is, a beautiful, striking woman. She's willing to model clothing. Oh, no, 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 you religious nut job zealot. She's shunned now by that community for her decision. She's a hero. But not in the current culture. By the way, she's coming with me next week when we broadcast live from Babe's Chicken on Wednesday. She's a hero. Why are we just giving culture over to those who seek to promote filth and garbage and trash and violence and everything else? Why do we just give up? Why do we just complain about it? Why don't we do something about it? Ah, man, if I just knew somebody that had like a giant movie studio and was willing to use that movie studio to promote art and... Wait a minute. I've got a movie studio. And that's what we're going to do here. Create. When you come down here next month for Restoring, Rally, uh, uh, Restoring Love Rally, I, I really hope that you will take the time, as I say this now, my staff is like, what are you doing? is I try to open up the studios here for tours of this facility. I came to Texas for many reasons, but the big one is I intend to create and chart our, a different course. This studio is incredible. But just like Edison, we're dreaming about much, 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 much bigger things. We are going to push back on all of the culture. We are going to 
Well, boil down to this, create, create. Movies, music, television, experiences. We're going to do it all, but I need your help. I need your help. Whether you're a creative person, you're a money person, you're just somebody who is as neither of those things, but you want to consume it, you want something good, good, and spread the word. Now, you may not see yourself as a creator, but let me remind you that you are wonderfully and fearfully made in the image of your creator. And if you were crafted to be like your creator, then you're a creator too, just a little different, but you're a creator. Everything in this studio was an idea first. The iPad was only possible because Edison had an idea. Gee, I think I can make moving pictures and project that on a wall somehow. This was an idea. It came from a farmer, the television set. Came from a guy who was farming his land, went in rows. And he turned the corner and he was like, I can project pictures and images in rows of dots. That's how television came about. You know why we have this, this big, beautiful, flat panel monitor? Because this was clunky and heavy. It's all an idea, Somebody, somebody's head. And then they created it based on that idea. Right now, our idea of culture is bad, not like it, keep kids away. We distance ourselves from the culture. Well, that doesn't create anything, and it leaves a vacuum, and American culture moves forward without us. We must move it forward. It only moves forward when people are creating, not complaining. Meanwhile, the politicians, the studios, the networks, the record industry, they're all going downhill. They're, and it's, it's crap, and their systems don't work anymore. Idea, bing, Edison light bulb, be there to replace them. Everybody tries to punish small businesses. Everybody tries to punish the creators. Everybody tries to punish anybody who has a different idea, but it's the different idea that made us great. That is all about to change because today is the biggest challenge of all. Four, create against all odds, create. This is the most important. This is what makes us Americans. It's what moved America from darkness and candles to whatever it is you want to make of it. But you must think it, work at it, create, and push it out. Creation. It's what informs us. It's what motivates us. In many ways, it's who we are. That's why the Marxist of the early 20th century laid out a detailed plan of action to change our culture, to create a different culture. You can change the way people perceive things. If you can do that, you can change the way they move, the way they act. We know this is true because we've seen it happen in our own lifetime, right before your eyes. You watch it now in real time. So do I expect you to grab a guitar, send me a movie script, buy a giant studio and start producing your own hit? Nope. Nope. But we are all creators, and that's what I want you to recognize. We all have an idea. This is my idea. In fact, actually, this is not my idea. This is the big idea. I want to narrow it down just a little bit. I'll show you the beginning of mine my idea that's going to happen this summer. And I have to tell you, I'm a little pissed off uh, today. I had a really bad day this morning. And I wish I could reveal a few more details for you, but the forces that have built up in our culture today that do everything they can to crush, crush the soul, make it damn near impossible sometimes. You know, the usual suspects, attorneys, record companies, networks, contracts, rules, regulations, the government, attorneys. Did I mention attorneys? All the stupid gatekeepers. Oh, man. We have spent months on this one show, months getting ready for this. And uh, as I walked in to the studio tonight, and it's too late now, they're like, we just got approval from the attorneys, just got to sign contracts so we could talk about it. Okay, now it's too late, but thank you for that. 
everybody does everything they can to stop a creator, but that's okay. Oh, I have enough to whet your appetite. I'm only asking for a few days more before we uh, show you the whole picture. But tonight, instead of doing what I was planning on doing, I'm going to take you upstairs. I want to take you up to my office. This is um, the Mercury Planning Office. I'll show you the first few steps of how we tend to put down our, our white flag and take our culture back. We're going to do it, and we're going to do it by creating the full scope of what we're doing, the music and film, next. People get ready, there's a train of coming. 